seven Mizo boys are going away to play football in the prestigious Bundesliga. Driving through interior Mizoram, we have to catch up with them before they leave for Germany. You can ask from him also. And along the meandering road, everyone knows their names. Every turn, every nook, every village. They know the names of the boys whose eyes are set on their goal. The next house. These footballers are vanguards of a sporting revolution, weaving dreams of glories to come. Fourteen-year-old Lal Chungmunga is about to set sail for Europe. His entire village is abuzz with the news. This is an event that does not happen every day, or every year, or ever. Even in Mizoram, not many may know the village of Zoitula. 140 kilometers away from the state capital of Aizol, in the 130 households of Zoitulan, it is more faith that holds out hope rather than any economic miracle of the 21st century. Professional footballer Ni Tak Chung Vel since they are living in this small village, during that time also, he used to dream about uh, playing a fo professional football, then playing in the English Premier League. English Premier League is a dream. Kolasib is closer to Aizol, but not to Germany. Yet, Ram Luchunga is going there to live his father's unfulfilled dream. Emmanuel, who struggles every day to provide a square meal for his family, now hopes his cycle of ignominy would be finally broken by his son. It is football that has presented them with an opportunity to dream once more. I never thought about playing for my country because uh, we were just uh, simple farmers. We didn't think about it and we didn't get the chance to watch World Cup on TV also. So we just play for fun. The Mizo youngsters are going to Germany because of a nationwide football talent hunt. Seven boys from Mizoram are being sent to train in Bundesliga with six-year contracts. And they too are contributing to Mizoram's newly established status as a breeding ground for football in the country. Larry is the first one in his family to travel beyond Mizoram. His selection in the under-17 Indian team in 2015 took him to Goa. That was the first time he saw the sea. Goa. The place and all the foodstuffs we got were very good, but it was hot and humid, so at first also I, I couldn't adapt and I was so tired. 
We went to the sea in a group on a Sunday evening. We really liked the, <laughs> the experience. Modi is a city boy. His family supports his dream. It is a big dream. He wants to be a footballer. My dream was at first was uh, to play for Manchester United in the English Premier League. My newfound dream is to play in the Under-17 World Cup. That's next year. Uh, to play for India. In this land, it would be very difficult to find a straight road. And like the meandering hill roads of Mizoram, the route to the national stage of football is not a straight one either. Yet, it is a road that the Mizo people have learned to navigate with relative ease. It does not come as a surprise that 40% of footballers in the national arena today are from Mizoram. The, the unemployment rate is very high in Mizoram and people depend solely on the government to provide us the job. But which, when it comes to sport, uh, it, it is based on merit. There, there, there's no ST quota here in sports. So, you know, if a sportsman excel, and um, you know, he is earning his own bread and butter from, from the sports. Entertainment in Mizoram is primarily sports and football attracts the largest crowd. Some years ago, there was not much that Mizo youth would get to do in the evenings. Hindi is still alien to Mizos, and so Bollywood, unlike anywhere else in the country, held little charm here. The explosion of cable television meant Korean and Burmese content translated into Mizo. <laughs> I didn't really know the reason why he switched his love for uh, fo uh, football from boxing, uh, but maybe because of the influence of the media. All the big newspapers also, they have carried lots of uh, football stories on the back side. Almost all the back sides with colorful uh, pictures of European players. Like that, I think he, the, those things combined. Me means people. Zo are those of the Lushai Hills. And Ram means land. Me Zo Ram is the land of the hill people. It is a land of rolling hills and shallow valleys that has 75% forest cover. The altitude across the state varies between 3,300 and 4,300 feet. It is not a likely place for football to be played with such intense passion. More than 20% of its little over 10 lakh population still live under the poverty line. But rural poverty is much higher and yet that is where the footballers of Mizoram are born. Inter-village tournaments are a big hit. 110 teams participated in the under-16 category, while 200 teams took part in the senior division of the tournament. 
These are the tournaments where talent scouts hunt for their next big star. Under 14. Yeah, uh, he, he just played at air ground. Yeah. 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 Air ground. Yeah, some rifle ground. So uh, I, I was the top scorer and I was the best player also at that tournament. Because I was in the police academy, police football academy. I was so fit that uh, I really enjoyed the game. Best player, can you book? There are about 800 villages spread across eight districts in Mizoram. Almost every village has a church and a football field. Forest patches have been cleared and the hillside leveled to create space for a football field and two goalposts. But in Mizoram, all the village football fields are either clay or mud because there is no natural grass in the state. To overcome this drawback, the state government created six artificial turfs for football, two of them in Aizol alone. The entire population of Aizol can possibly fit into Kolkata's Salt Lake Stadium. But ironically, very few Mizos can still afford to travel to this mecca of Indian football. Ranked 32 out of 36 in the national GDP rankings, Mizoram is desperately poor even in the Indian context. No wonder then that the boy who represents India in the under-17 football team and is all set to go to Germany to play in Bundesliga has never before owned a football of his own. I want to do, I want to reach the top level. Uh, I want to play in Europe League, European League, uh, uh, not only in the state league here in, uh, I, I look beyond my state league and I look to the European League in the top clubs and that's what on my mind. More than 2,300 kilometers from Delhi, Aizol is being turned into the new center for soccer excellence. Aizol FC, formed in 1984, has gained entry in the top tier of I-League, having won the 2015 Second Division League. The club already offers great opportunity for youngsters to train and to grow. I was invited by my friends to go for a trial in the Aizol FC Academy. Uh, I didn't really know how big Aizol FC was. And I didn't really know uh, how, what's the meaning of uh, joining the academy. So I really wanted to play football and I was invited by my friends so that made me join the academy. Mizoram Football Association has been working overtime to showcase the talent they have in the state. Some of the players now who are representing India are coming from a very poor background in a very remote village. But how we are spotting them, spotting them is like the district, they have done their homework first. They are picking it up from their villages. They are bringing it to the district team. And in the inter-district football championships, the Mizoram scout, they, they, they are picking them again. Even the world football body, FIFA, has recognized this remote state of India as the breeding ground of football. FIFA is hosting the Under-17 World Cup of 2017 in Mizoram and that means stadiums are being built and infrastructure is being upgraded. Mizoram is the pilot project under FIFA's grassroots project and Luangmal Stadium's artificial turf set up in 2011 belongs to everyone who wishes to make use of it.
The Germans came in with help and with them came private initiatives to hunt and then to hone these football talents. I mean, he sent two, two coaches from Germany. Uh, they are both uh, UEFI license holder, uh, Lutz Van Anstiel and Mr. Felix Seem. They were the first, I mean, foreign coaches who came to Mizoram to, to train our coaches. Then our, that was in the year 2011. In 2014, uh, we hosted uh, this uh, TSG Hoffenheim in Mizoram. That they came here for a friendly match. They stayed for a night. And it was one of the I mean, most memorable experiences for the Mizoram football fans here. Till a few years ago, Lal Chungnonga was also one of the hopefuls playing for Village Pride. Today, he's the pride of his state, known as the Messi of Mizoram. In 2015, when right winger Lal Chungnunga scored the clinching goal for India in an Asian Federation Cup group match against Tajikistan, he was merely 15 years old. <laughs> India, Tanakankel, Tajikistan, Kameha. Oh, it's a game against Tajikistan. Mm. Uh, India, Tango. He says he's the only Mizo player in that game and he scored a goal. <laughs> Lal Chung Nunga's feat is all the more commendable because he only started taking football seriously when he was 10 years old and in five years he had made it to Team India. Lal Chung Nunga's father was his first coach. A farmer, Lal Din Mawya, did everything that he could so that his son could play for the country. Lalin Mawia is still paying off the loan that he took to send his son to Aizol and beyond so that Lal Chung Nunga could score goals for India. Technology te ashang toa. Due to the growth of technology, they can watch almost all football match in the world. Due to this, they can dream a lot. Then, for a particular, uh, he mentioned a particular player, Esmal Sontu Anga Mama. Hey, Mama, te, ang depo, tu na te chun indiram khopu ya, football ay jonna na mangin, turu takin an khosha toa. He is far more remote than this village. He, is, he, he comes from far more remote than this village. That's why, he, because of that, he, he, he dreams of and he thinks of him becoming a better player. Mule Muna Indiram Kelte Kating Hakan Low and Vevik Tato Vanghanin. This is this is a trophy from the All India Football Federation. We were awarded the the IFF Award for the Best Best Grassroots Development Program. This is in the two thousand I mean year two thousand thirteen. This is the same year in which India was awarded the second position in the Hall of Asia. So we are very proud of this I mean award. And of course, this is from the TSG Hoffenheim. They are the first professional football club who came to Mizoram, uh, I mean, fr from outside. Then, this is brought by the German national, I mean, students' national football team. This is all the way from the German, I mean, uh, German Football Federation. And this ball, uh, this, is, this is a very rare opportunity for us to to have the autograph of the world champions this is a gift given by the german football federation these are the the, the autograph of the we i mean the world cup winners uh, 2014 so this is all the way coming from i mean uh, the, the german football federation the bamboos move fast with rhythm but a skilled mizo dancer knows how to skip and jump to the beats of the music. Hopes, aspirations and failures are all part of this big dream that Mizoram of the Seven Sisters of the Northeast is trying to achieve. Mizoram is not just playing for sporting recognition, it is playing for a pride of place in the world's soccer fraternity. And these young Mizo boys are the beacons of hope that are lighting the field.